Hello, hi, it's Liz here and it's Hot Knot Day. So we have the little Hot Knot book out and it's number 22. Last week we did this little pocket with the triangles. So we did only one, two, three lots of triangles. So uh, triangles was quite a tricky one for me and I couldn't really think of anything else that was a bit different. So we're going to move on to strips, um, like so, so just kind of odd bits of paper, um, scrap paper. And I'm thinking the strip needs to be about one and a half inches broad. And depending on the size of the book, where you want your strip to be, if you want it along the bottom, obviously you need to make it as long as you want it or up the side. So it's really just a little decorative strip and we'll just add a little bit of something to the strip. And um, yeah, so no dyes, no fancy anything, no colouring. Let's just have our pencil and make a little scalloped edge so near the top just kind of i mean you want it to be kind of shabby chic so a little some some little shallow scallops 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 just as a wee guide i'm probably not stick too much well i will a wee bit i'll stick i'll maybe make that one a little bit shallower and then i'll just that's your pencil mark is really just maybe a wee guide just to get you going. So, easy peasy. <laughs> easy peasy. And so that's a little decorative touch for the bottom, but we don't want to just leave it there like that. Let's ink up the edges. I've got my Versa Magic Gingerbread, but obviously any of these Distress type inks or chalk inks will do the trick. And that just makes it stand out against my page because my page is quite cream and that just makes it a little bit bolder. Now, what else could we do to it? We could add a little bit of a border. So still keeping it really easy. Just a little fine marker. If you wanted to take it up a stage, we could also take it to the sewing machine, but that's not what, what knots are all about. So let's just give it a little squiggle there and a little squiggle there. So how does that look now? Yep. I'm quite happy with how that little bit of decoration. Now, obviously you could glue it on the page just on three sides and make it a little tux um, or a little tuck, a little pocket. But I think we'll keep that for another time. I'm just going to use this one as decoration. Now, it's still looking a little bit plain. So let's take another piece of scrap paper and just draw a simple flower just to decorate on top of the the little um, strip. So I'm going to start off with just a little circle and then I'm going to do five nice big, maybe with one small one, one big one. Oh, I'm going to be able to squeeze in six in this one. There we are. So, just different sized um, petals that we can quickly cut out. Obviously, if you have a punch or a die, then you can use 
but it only takes two ticks, two shakes of a lamb's tail to cut out, to draw a simple daisy flower. And it saves you hunting to the back of the cupboard, <laughs> looking out a punch. And again, we're just going to give it a little bit of something with the fine liner. Yeah. So, how, what stage are we at now? We've got this ribbon has moved it keeps this together let me just put that back to the middle there that's better um yeah so we've got that quite pretty for the page. Maybe we want one more flower and I have this little flower here done the same way but smaller and I think I will add a third flower up there and I think that will decorate that page quite nicely. What do you think? Let's glue it down and then we'll know for sure. So does everyone follow on Instagram? I am Buttons for Brains, lower dash, eh, Liz Maguire, on Instagram. And the reason I'm eh, saying this today, because I wouldn't normally promote anything, I just think, you know, if you're into Instagram, you probably come across things anyway. But I've started quite a lot of my subscribers here um, ask how... Millie the Greyhound's doing and uh, what's she been up to and how's she getting on and what not and want to know about uh, rescuing greyhounds and like to see her. So I have started putting on the occasional little um, tiny short video, a reel um, on Instagram uh, showing her travels out and about with Millie. So... Um, if you fancy, you can go over to Instagram and have a look. It's quite cute. Let me just get there. So that's today's whatnot. A little piece of, whoops, a little bigger piece than that. A little strip, draw, a little loose half circles, a little bit of ink, a fine liner pen and um and yeah a few wee drawn flowers and uh, yeah what do you think i think that's quite a nice page i'm quite happy with that so that's one and a half inches yeah thereabouts and my book is well, three and three quarters inches across. But obviously, if you want it to fit your page or just randomly make a few different sizes, I've got a longer one here that I was trying out before I came on camera. And I thought that um, this would be quite nice here. It's a little decoration. You see how it looks really different on different kinds of paper? And I haven't uh, used the fine liner pen on that. And yet it just looks pretty cool there. So, yeah. 
Right, okay, thanks for joining me today and if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.